I'm Dr. Natalie Phillips, host of Just Connect, a show where we chat about connection through social media, learning opportunities, and through the people we meet every day. Join me every Wednesday on Facebook Live at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I am an audiologist, a business owner, an entrepreneur, and a connector. This life is about connecting for the right reasons and to the right people. I believe making authentic and true connections lead to growth, change, and impacting the world. All right. Hello, hello. So I am actually at my work office, um, my day job, and I am coming to you live from here, and I'm also watching on my phone so I can kind of see comments if I don't see comments coming in, and I see that Bill Schomburg is in the house, and Maria Cantu, how are you, Maria, and Eric Willeroy, good to see you. So I am here, the reason why it looks a little bit different is because I'm actually still at my audiology practice, and Shannon, a um, friend from Hawaii, is on as well, so Hello everybody, and it looks a little bit different today, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about some bruising and bumps today, but before I get there, I want to actually let you guys know that um, after today, this show, Just Connect, is actually going to move to my business Facebook page, so if you don't follow me there, follow me there, it's Natalie Phillips also, or if you're going to put the um, at sign, it's going to be at Dr. Natalie Phillips, but it's my Facebook um, page for my business, and it's it's my, um, my picture there. So after, again, today, so next week, we're going to be on my page, so just to let you know. So thanks for joining. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about um, bumps and bruises. I have that on my mind, and it looks like Eric, hello, Eric, and Marshall is in the house. Doug. Beck is watching. So hello, Doug. I'm here in my audiology practice, so I feel like we're all kind of meshing together here. So, okay, so bumps and bruises is what I want to talk about. And um, just, you know, thinking about how do you bounce back from a beating while still maintaining your composure, you know, especially in a professional setting. And so I wanted to start off with talking about what a bruise is. Let's kind of back it up a little bit and talk a little bit more about what a bruise is. The definition of a bruise is kind of like um, bleeding under the skin due to a trauma and um, it changes color as it heals. So I want you to kind of think about just a bruise, okay? So it's kind of bleeding under the skin and it changes color as it heals, okay? Um, but the reason why I wanted to talk about bumps and bruises is because um, for a couple of different reasons. So number one, we all get bumped and bruised, right? Number two, if you have done the bruising, it's time to own it and apologize. Number three, we all have to maintain a professional composure and have discernment with our reactions. And so I wanted to just start thinking about that too, that we all live in a world where we work and where we have to, to keep this professional composure. And sometimes it's not always that easy and we're all in the same boat. So I'm just here to kind of share that um, we're going to all get through this together, okay? And the last reason why I really wanted to talk about bumps and bruises today was because there's always something to learn, right, in the healing process. I mean, the reason why you go through some of these things is because you're going to learn, and you're going to learn in this healing process, and it might change your outlet look, or it might change your color, right, as you heal, but I want you to embrace that you're going to heal from this, and that it's something that everybody is going to go through. So, Talking about bumps and bruises, um, hello, Terry Ross, and Amit is on, and Amit says, I know about bumps and bruises, Leanne Ryan-Smith, good to see you, and my really good friend, Caroline Bite is on, so anyway, hello, everyone. Okay, so talking about bumps and bruises, um, the reason why I wanted to kind of talk about these things today is because I wanted to kind of focus a little bit more about different areas of our life that we have bruising, and it can be physical. It can be emotional, it can be spiritual, spiritual, and also it can be professional. And it's kind of funny because I am in my professional setting here. This is the different background that you see, you guys. Um, but I really wanted to focus on what happens in a professional setting when you get bumped and bruised. And how are you going to come out of this, right? Okay, Heather Wolf, good to see you. 
Good to see you, Heather, my dear friend Heather. Okay, so so let's focus on the types of professional bruising. That's what I want to focus on today. That I've either seen, I've either been a victim of, or sadly to say, and if you guys are part, you know, partly where you have to kind of come have a come to Jesus and say me too, but sometimes I have actually been a part of this type of bruising. So different ways that it can happen in a professional setting would be bullying. Bullying, which may, would mean teasing people in the office or um, colleagues or people that might be under you or over you or whatever it is, right? Teasing and talking down to somebody. So that's bullying. Um, gossiping. That's super easy in an office setting. You know, yes, we're busy and sometimes I kind of just, you know, run around and sometimes I don't have the time, but it easily can creep in. So gossiping is another way that we can professionally bruise each other. Someone taking credit for something that you've done. Okay. If anybody's done that, or if anybody has had that happen to them, Throw me some likes, throw me some hearts. You know, if you're in there, put your little emoji hand up, you know, um, let me know. But um, that's another type of professional bruising um, that, that I've seen or been a part of is that you take credit for something that you haven't done. Um, another one is your reputation. Maybe somebody's trying to tear down your reputation or you, maybe you're trying to tear somebody else down. You know, whether it was a bad decision that they made or whether or not there's some untrue rumors just kind of floating around, that's another type of professional bruising we do to each other. As well as maybe you're sitting in a meeting and you know, you're know you getting frustrated because every single idea that you come up with gets shot down every single time. And you just feel like you're taking a beating and, and you're just getting bruised over and over and over again. So now that we've identified it, what I wanna to talk to you about is how, what are the steps to get past this and what are the steps to actually heal from a bruise? Because part of the definition of a bruise that I started earlier was, yes, it's bleeding under the skin, which some people might not necessarily um, see or feel um, yet, but also the part of the healing process is the changing of the colors or the changing of your perspective or something that you're gonna go through. And so step one to healing a bruise would be identifying first the type of bruise, all right? So I was thinking about this, different kinds of bruising that happens. Sometimes it's just pain when you have something that flares up, right? So it's not always around, but sometimes when it comes around, then you, you feel this pain. So sometimes it could be a person, right? A person that fosters a negative environment every single time that they come around. You're fine, you're doing your work, you're minding your own business, and then all of a sudden somebody just kind of like stops at your door or starts talking to you badly about somebody or whatever it is, and everywhere they go, they foster this negative environment. It's almost like this, like, like a pig pen cloud around them, right? And it's like this negative gray cloud. And so, you know, is that would be like a pain that flares up. So is there a person or is there something um, that you need to just get rid of? You know, if it's a person, is there somebody that needs to be unfriended, unfollowed, dismissed, or even Fired. So hello, Michelle McLean and Melissa Burrow. Thank you for joining. Good to see everybody here. So today we're talking about bumps and bruises. We've identified, you know, some of the professional bruising that's out there, such as bullying, gossiping, you know, somebody taking credit for something that you've done, rumors, um, reputation, and also getting your ideas shot down. So those are some of the professional bruising that we do. And I'm walking through now, how do we get through this? So step one is to identify the type of bruising. And that is what I'm talking about. So sometimes it could just be a pain or something that just flares up every time they're around, okay? Or maybe it's a type of bruise that you don't really um, see it completely, but it hurts when you put pressure on it, okay? So what I was thinking is maybe like, there's a project that every single time that you try to attack it, it gives you this pit in your stomach because you you know it's not right. You know you shouldn't be doing this. You know you shouldn't be working with that person or you know you shouldn't be, you know, um, just kind of pushing forward, right? Because it, it gives you this weird feeling, icky, you know, pit in your stomach. And so this is the type of um, bruise that you might not identify with it until the pressure is put on the bruise, right? Um, or maybe it's someone that's near you. You know, you just have this weird feeling about that person and all of a sudden it's like when the pressure is on, you can feel it and you just don't feel good about it. That's another type of bruise. So again, identifying these types of bruises. Another one might be the type of bruise that you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, where did that come from? right? Like you don't even know where it came from. So maybe there's things in your professional world or your life that you are so far deep in there that 
you can't even see it until it's too late, right? And it's such a deep bruise. Um, and you sometimes you don't even know it's there until it's too late. So step one is identifying the type of bruise. This is all steps to help heal the bruise, okay? So step one is identifying the bruise. Step two would be consider the treatment options. Okay, so again, my medical profession, you know, I'm going to go to talking about some treatment now, right? So diagnosis and treatment. So treatment of a bruise, right? Number one, Maybe it's physical therapy. I was thinking about it. Maybe it's physical therapy. You like you have to learn something from a professional to give you the tools in order for you to do the work yourself in order for it to heal or repair. That's physical therapy. They give you the tools, then you do the hard work. Okay. Number two would be a treatment option could be maybe you actually need help from others. Maybe as a bruise, you, you have to go to a doctor's appointment or get an x-ray, like something deeper, right? Go to a professional. Um so these could be the people, your friends, or even professionals, or even moderators that might help you get out of this situation, right? Um, so maybe you need help from others. And the last thing I was thinking about a treatment was, what does medication do? So you take the medication, right? And then it like trickles through your body to actually reach the pain point in order for it to heal. So maybe you have to actually live through some of these things and let it kind of just settle and let it get to that pain point in order for you to benefit from this treatment. So those are some of the three treatments that I came up with. And step two would be, maybe it's physical therapy, maybe you have to do the work really, really hard and do it all the time. You know, maybe you have to have somebody to help you. Maybe it's your friends around you, maybe it's actually professionals or a moderator. And then thirdly, maybe it's something that over time, you just kind of have to live it out and you have to come to terms with it. And like medication, it just has to reach that pain point and heal it from the inside out. Okay. So I'm hoping you guys get this. Okay. So step three in healing from the bruising would be, how do you decide to respond? How do you decide to respond? So is it where you choose to walk away? Would it be that you try to ignore it or you try to forget it? Or do you try to fight it? Okay. So when you are bruised, What's your response? What is your response? Well, number one is you cannot avoid it. You can't just say, huh, there's a bruise. You know, sometimes this is the only solution and the only way to get past it or past the bruising is to work with it and work through the pain. And honestly, I truly believe that some of the things that we've gone through, some of the things that sometimes we keep to ourselves because maybe we're embarrassed that, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened to me. Um, sometimes when we hold it in, it is not helping anybody else. And so we've got to start talking about some of these things. Um, and we've got to know that when you come out on the other side of it, when you heal from your bruise, that is going to be your greatest impact that you're going to have to offer the world. So how many people actually believe that? How many, do you guys understand this? Are you guys kind of getting this? Or is it just like all in my head? If you are, throw me some hearts, throw me some likes. Um, but you know, I just, I kind of just thought about all of us. I feel like all of us have gone through something and all of us have been bumped. We've been bruised. We've been scraped. We've been put down everything. And it's our choice whether or not we're going to talk about it, share about it, and then also kind of help some other people. And maybe you never know, maybe what you actually went through is actually going to help somebody and they're waiting for you to come out on the other side. Um, so, you know, I had posted a post earlier and you guys can look back at my page, but it was a post that said, um, you know, be beautifully broken. And I strongly believe that we are all broken and we need to just let go of all of this perfection, you know, and own that we are broken and cracked. This is what I wrote in my post. Every time you break, you open yourself up to learn something about yourself. Every crack tells you more about yourself and what you're made of. I totally believe that. Who believes that? Like, seriously, throw me some hearts if you believe that. And the third thing I wrote was don't hide your pieces from the world, for they are who you are and they make up your uniqueness. So the whole reason why also I wanted to talk to you about bumps and bruising and your uniqueness and growing into something that's beautiful is, okay, announcement time. I am bringing in an event to Northern Colorado with my good friend, Sarah Moneris, and we are bringing it here. And oh my gosh, hold on. I have to find the title here because it is going to be called Unbreakable, Finding Strength in the Imperfection. So I am super excited. This is going to be September 6th and 7th. 
Somebody post it up. If Michelle is on here, I um, I can't see it anymore. But if Michelle, you're on here, please post it September 6th or 7th, 6th and 7th in Northern Colorado. We are bringing this event here because Sarah and I strongly believe, you know, we had talked when we met and we strongly believe that. Everything is, everybody has gone through something. Everybody has been broken. Everybody has an opportunity to share, you know, what they're learning from being broken. And so we're bringing in this super amazing guest speaker, actually a good friend of mine, and we're going to do an activity that's going to show you how you're going to put some of these pieces back together in the most beautiful and unique, um, I have to just say thing, because I don't want to give away too much of it, but, um, just crafting something that is uniquely and beautiful to you and what you're going to create. And so we are bringing a, an event to Northern Colorado and I'm super excited. This is the first time we are announcing it because we just signed, we're going to sign the contract actually. Um, and we found a venue and everything is going to start rolling from here. So I'm going to be starting to drop some different information and would love to see you guys all come out to our event September 6th and 7th in Northern Colorado. Um, all right. And as a reminder, I also wanted to remind you guys to um, that next week, starting next week, my Facebook live show is not going to be here on my personal page here anymore, but it's going to be on my business page. So make sure that you like my business page at Dr. Natalie Phillips um, is the is the handle name, but it's just Natalie Phillips and you'll see my picture on there. So thank you so much for joining. I, would, I cannot wait to go back and read all your comments, see what you guys think about the, the whole bumps and bruising um, talk. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for um, posting that. And um, oh my gosh, thank you all for joining. This was amazing to see everybody. I see Jack Corbett's on and Chuck Sasala, Elizabeth Lyons. Oh my gosh, so many of you joined me today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, go over to my other page, like it. Turn on your notifications. Make sure that you see me for next week because I will not be here. I will be on my other page and I will see you soon. Thank you guys for joining. Bye.